Hi everyone. In this video I will show you how to use the GEMS Single Product Builder to create unique custom templates for the product pages of your online shop. As you might know, product pages are the online shop pages with the highest conversion rates. On these pages the shop visitors decide whether to purchase a product or not. That's why it is extremely important to make the product pages user-friendly with unique appealing designs to increase conversions. The standard product page templates of WooCommerce are mostly generic with limited customization options. It is important to be able to modify these templates to improve usability and design to stand out from the competition. That's where Single Product Builder, which is part of the Templates Builder feature of the GEM theme, will help you. To create new single product template, go to the GEM Templates Builder and select here Single Product tab. Click on Add New. Templates Builder pop-up appears asking you to specify the name of the template. Click on Create Template. Editor starts loading. Two things are important to note at this point. In the editor you will see the Single Product Builder group of content elements. These are the product page specific content elements. Most of these elements are dynamic elements and their content is populated by product-specific content. Of course, all other content elements, which do not have product page-specific functions, like buttons, accordions, icons, and many more, can be used in product page templates as well. By default, in the editor, the product template will display the content of the last added product of your shop. This product serves as a reference and demo for showing you what your template will look like. You can change this reference product to any other product by going to Theme Options, WooCommerce, Product, scrolling down, and selecting the corresponding product in the Product Builder section, Preview Product for Templates Builder field. Let's explore some of the product-specific elements by creating our first product page template. For this tutorial, I will replicate this product page template. I start by creating the first section dividing it in three equal columns, setting it to full width. In my first column, I would like to display the product title, product rating, product price, product short description, product SKU, product categories, and product sharing. Let's add these elements. Of course, all of these elements can be easily styled in the Style tab. Great! Now, in the second column, I would like to show the product page breadcrumbs and product gallery. Let's do it. The product gallery element includes five different gallery types, which can be selected in the Gallery Type field. Depending on the selected gallery type additional settings will be shown to adjust the look of the product gallery. You can also specify additional options like whether to include product video in the gallery or whether to activate the zoom magnifier. Now, in the third column, I will add the Add to Cart element. This element has multiple layout options. You can adjust the general layout and layouts of the Add to Cart and Attributes section separately. You can activate or deactivate the Ajax Add to Cart functionality. Control the appearance of the Add to Wishlist button. 
and make more additional settings. To vertically center the content elements inside the column, I go to the column settings and choose middle as vertical alignment. The next step will be to add the product tabs element in the section below. In this element you can also choose between different layouts, you can display product tabs as tabs, or as accordions, or you can choose the one by one option to display the content of the tabs one after another. Let's check the settings for the description section of the product tabs. Default, this section will be dynamically populated by content added to product extra description field of the respective product. However, you can change the setting to get the content created with the page builder in the product content area of the respective product. The last section of my template should display a carousel with related products. Let's add the heading first. Now I will add the products carousel element in the section below. As you can see in the products section of the products carousel element. When using this element in the templates builder, the product source is automatically set to display related or upsell products. Of course, you can change this setting to manually select the product source. You can select products by categories attributes, tags, or make a manual product selection. Now I will adjust few settings to get the carousel look exactly as in our example. Okay, let's preview our template. Great, now everything looks good on the desktop. But what about tablets and mobiles? Let's switch to the mobile view and inspect the layout for mobile devices. Everything looks good, except for some minor adjustments that I can make while editing the template in mobile mode. Great! My product template is now ready. Now, after I have created my product template, let's check how to apply this template to products in my shop. Let's start with activating this template for all products. I go to Theme Options and choose WooCommerce Product. In Layout Source field I select Templates Builder. And in the next field, I select my product template I have just created. Now I save my selection. At this point, it is important to note, that the product template created in the Templates Builder is applied to the product layout on the product page. Simply put, it replaces the content part of the product page. All other parts of the product page like header, title area, and footer can be globally set in theme options. Single pages. Product page. As you can see, each part of the product page has its dedicated group of settings. By default, all these settings inherit the global website settings. By activating these settings here they can be individually adjusted only for product pages. Okay, let's check how my products look on the front end. I go to the main shop page. And click on some product. As you can see, the template I have created has been successfully applied to the product page. What about the next product? Yes, the template has been applied here as well. And here. As I can see, the template is not working on this product. What could be the reason for this? 
Let's check the page options of this product. As you can see, the product layout settings in this product are set to custom settings. This means that the product layout settings set in theme options are not being inherited for this product and these custom settings override the global settings. Okay, to resolve this problem, I just change the custom settings to default settings and save my product. Let's take a look at this product on the front end again. Great, now we can see that the template set in theme options has been successfully applied. But what if you have a lot of such existing products with custom settings set in page options? How to override this with a single click and avoid going through all the products manually? No problem at all. Just return to theme options. WooCommerce. Product. And click on the Apply Now button in the Global Settings section. This action overrides all the custom layout settings made in individual products in bulk. Okay, and what about the reverse situation? How to apply a certain product template on some individual product only? We have already seen that in product page options it is possible to define the product layout individually, overriding the global settings made in theme options. To do this, I go to the list of my products and click on Edit. On the Product Edit page I scroll down to Page Options. Select Product Layout. And in Product Layout Settings, I select Custom Settings. After that, as Layout Source I select Templates Builder. And choose the product template I wish to apply. For our example let's quickly import some pre-built product page template and apply this template to my chosen product. Instead of selecting a template from the list of available templates, I click on Import Pre-Built Template button. The pop-up with the list of pre-built product layout templates appears. Here I can select some pre-built template by clicking on Insert. The editor starts loading. And the chosen pre-built template appears in the editor ready to be modified. I like the template I selected as it is. So let's just save it and return to the page options of my product. After reloading the product edit page, I can see the imported template in the list of available product layout templates. I select this template and click on save. As noted previously, the product layout template created in the templates builder is applied to the product layout on the product page. All other parts of the product page like the header, title area, and footer can be individually set in page options of the selected product. As you can see, each part of the product page has its dedicated group of settings. By default, all these settings inherit the global settings made in theme options. By activating these settings in page options they can be individually adjusted only for this specific product page. Okay, so let's check how my product looks on the front end after applying the product layout template I have selected. Great! We can see that the template has been successfully applied to this individual product. Amazing! As we have seen, thanks to the GEMS single product builder it is possible to create any imaginable product layout directly in the page builder without touching a line of code. This layout can be applied globally to all products or individually to selected products with a few clicks. This gives outstanding flexibility by choosing the product designs for your shop, accelerates the development process, and improves conversions.